This is the footage of Harrison O'Keen's rescue when he was trapped in a sunken ship at the bottom of the ocean. He survived here for 60 hours with nothing but a bottle of coke. His entire crew were sleeping in their rooms when the ship capsized and quickly started flooding with water. Due to anti-piracy measures, all of these doors were locked shut, so the entire crew were trapped inside with nowhere to go. However, Harrison was in the toilet at the time of the capsize. This luckily enabled him to navigate around the ship to find himself an air pocket. This wasn't easy however, as the ship was pitch black, nearly upside down and flooding with water. During the night, he heard sharks thrashing and chewing, and at the time he presumed that it was his crewmates fighting for their survival, and he feared that the sharks could make their way up to him next. To prevent this and to stay out of the freezing cold water, he stacked some mattresses on a counter. Back on the surface, it was presumed that all of the crew had died, as it was deemed impossible to stay alive for three days on this sunken ship. A body retrieval team was dispatched to bring the bodies home when they stumbled across Harrison. And here's the body cam footage of the rescue. Here we can hear the diver panic as a hand appeared out of nowhere. The controller expresses sympathies and instructs the diver to carry on as they presumed it was just a dead body. He's alive, he's alive. Okay, keep him there, keep him there. Alright, just... Alright, just hold him there, okay? Just keep him there. Alright, just keep him there and keep him calm, okay? Alright, just um, just reassure him, pat him on the shoulder. Okay. Both the diver and controller are shocked when they find out he's alive. The diver pokes his head out of the water and here we get our first look at Harrison who is near enough naked in a pitch black freezing pool of water. Are you, you sore? sore? Have, Have you got, got any injuries? Any injuries? Okay. 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 I want, what's, what's your, your name? name? Harrison. Harrison. Okay, okay, Harrison. My, My name, name is Colby. The diver puts a helmet onto Harrison that is presumably pumping helium into his lungs. This is intended to reduce CO2, which would be fatal to Harrison if left any longer than needed. Okay, okay, and I'm, I'm gonna, gonna bring you home, okay? okay? And the and diver, diver that's helping you now, his name is Nico. Okay, okay that's, that's Nico, okay? okay? You must have taken take your hat off, okay? okay? You must, must just breathe nicely, nicely yeah? yeah? That's enough. Okay. okay. Alright, All right, let's, let's go. go. You, you hold, hold your umbilical, umbilical and you listen, listen to me, okay? okay? Alright, All right, we're going now. Put your head under water and breathe comfortably, okay? Harrison was eventually gradually brought to the surface and placed inside a decompression chamber as he had spent so long under high pressures. If he was brought to the surface too early, he would die to something known as the bends. Harrison later recalls that he heard the dive team and he banged on the walls with a hammer in order to attract them, but the dive team couldn't hear him and they continued moving further away. He also cried when he found out that he was the only survivor as he presumed that his crewmates must have survived as well, but they didn't. Harrison was the only survivor all 11 of his crewmates perished under the ocean. Harrison is still alive today and he swore he would never return to the water. However, he eventually did return and became a diver instructor and he has dived with the very same diver that managed to save him from the sunken ship.